A couple of weeks ago, I covered the Akara Roller Shade Driver, a retrofit device that turns your existing blinds into smart blinds in just minutes. But there was one problem with it. It could only do one type of blind, the roller shade. Soma saw that video and sent over their devices that can not only do roller shades, but can actually do Venetian style blinds too, as well as has some other really cool features. But let's find out how good they are and if they are worth the money. Full transparency, as always, Soma did send these blinds over in order for me to check them out. Now, as mentioned, we do have a couple of different versions here. Both are retrofit devices, meaning that they are designed to work with your existing blinds. So the first one we have here is the Smart Shades 2 which are for normal roller shade blinds with a pull chain or a cord, similar to the Akara ones we looked at previously. And we also have the Tilt 2, which is something I was really interested to check out because this actually works with Venetian blinds that use those little rods so it can actually control the tilt of the blinds, which is really cool, something I haven't really seen before. They also sent over the Soma Connect box, which we are going to get into in a little bit, but essentially this allows for these blinds to connect up to Home Assistant, Google Home, A-L-E-X-A, HomeKit, as well as a few others. I wouldn't normally talk about or mention the packaging because, well, it's packaging, but in this case, I've got to give props to Soma for their packaging here. It's all really simple and clear on the outside, and on the inside, it's all well laid out and 100% recyclable, which is pretty cool. Great job there. Both of these blind motors work over Bluetooth low energy, both have a claimed 30 day battery life and both blinds come with an included solar panel for automatically keeping the battery charged, which is nice and it allows them to do light sensing as well. And they plug into these little headphone jack ports on the bottom of the units. I know, right? Headphone jacks for charging, wild stuff. So first let's start off with the tilt. The tilt is this pretty straightforward white box, nothing unusual there, but coming out of the top is this long flexible arm, and this is actually going to attach right into the little control rod mechanism of your blind, which it will use to rotate and tilt the blind, and it's a pretty neat idea actually. The only thing I'm missing I would have liked to have seen included is some physical buttons on the box for manual up and down movement, which I find to be really handy for quick control, and I would have loved to have seen that here. Insulation is really easy. Simply put your blinds into the fully open position first and remove the control rod, and then figure out which of the four included adapters fits your blinds mechanism best, and attach that to the end of the Soma control arm. Peel back the double-sided tape, attach the Soma to your blinds tilt mechanism and stick it to the wall. Then search for the Smart Shades app and it will walk you through the process. First you plug in your device to either the solar panel or charger with the included cable. And here's a little Easter egg for you. When you first activate them, it will play a little 8-bit version of the Imperial March from Star Wars which I personally thought was hilarious. But anyways, after you connect them to the app, you will just have to calibrate the bottom and top limits, which is really straightforward, but wow is it tedious. The up and down buttons only move it a little bit each time, and so you spend a good couple of minutes just moving these up and down. I understand why, because you don't want to go too far and break something, but they need an extra button here that would do bigger movements and then have another button for little fine tuning when you get close. In fact, they actually do this exact thing on the Smart Shades version, so I'm not sure why they didn't implement that here on the Tilt. Really minor complaint, but just something I noticed. The installation on the Smart Shades 2 is just as easy. You do get an even more unassuming white box, which is a little chunkier than the Akara is, but is much, much smaller height-wise. It's actually a fairly dense, pretty hefty little unit, but the principle is the exact same. This time you need to first plug it in before sticking it to the wall and add it to the Smart Shades app. And then using the app, you need to feed the blinds pool chain into your motor before proceeding to stick it to the wall. You'll want to make sure and pull the chain nice and tight first. Once again, the app will take you through the calibration process, and this time it's a much easier because you have those buttons for fine adjustments. Probably the only thing I would change about the physical hardware 
is it would be great if they had removable backplates that you stuck to the wall instead of the main unit. And this would allow you to easily remove both units for charging if you didn't want to use the included solar panel and perhaps you didn't easily have accessible power nearby. But overall, both units are incredibly easy to install. And once you have installed them, you can then control them through the Soma app. And can I say, and this shouldn't be something that I have to bring up as a positive point, but in 2021, it's really nice to have an app that does not require you to create an account or sign into to actually use. Inside the app, you can control the blinds to any position you want, fully opened, fully closed, or anywhere in between. And you can also create automations that will allow you to open them at certain times of the day, open at sunrise or close at sunset. Or if you have these solar panels plugged in, then you can also automate them based on the light level. These triggers also have a morning mode that allows you to control the speed of the motor to keep the noise level down. And believe me, you are going to want to set that. In the main settings of the shade, you can also control the normal motor speed too, which I really like to see. Now, the reason I say that you're going to want to have morning mode enabled if you plan on using these for wake up times is that these motors are freaking loud when they are at full speed. Like these motors are pretty powerful and fast, probably the fastest motors I've ever tested, which is great as it means it should be suitable for heavier blinds. But yeah, they are pretty loud on full speed. But that's the nice thing is that you have the option to enable morning mode and that brings these things down to a much more acceptable volume. Here is a quick sound test. So that's how both blinds work as a standalone platform. But what about if you want to control these with say Home Assistant or Google Home or ALEXA? Because both of these blinds work on Bluetooth low energy, that does mean that out of the box there is no Wi-Fi control. Soma has you covered here with their Soma Connect box, which acts as the bridge between your blinds and your smart home platform of choice. It's Home Assistant compatible, Google Home, ALEXA, SmartThings, HomeKit, as well as has a local API if you want to do something custom. Now, I know what you're thinking, not another hub that I have to plug in, but hear me out. Soma Connect is literally a Raspberry Pi 3 with some software on it, and that sells for £42. But Soma is completely transparent about the fact that it is just a Raspberry Pi, and they actually provide the software free of charge if you want to use it on an existing Raspberry Pi that you already have and you want to install it for yourself. So if you have a Pi already kicking about, then you don't need to buy Soma Connect. I really like this approach and they are being so transparent about it. They could have quite easily not told people that this is a Raspberry Pi and not offered the software for free. So I really appreciate that. Adding the Soma Connect to the app is really easy once again. Power it on, wait for the lights to go solid, and then your phone should automatically pick it up, where you can then add it to your Wi-Fi. Then it will give you the Soma Connect ID, which is just the device's MAC address. And this is so that you can add it to Google Home or another, after which you can then control it with your voice. Adding it to Home Assistant is incredibly easy too. Just search for it in the integrations list, enter the IP address of Soma Connect, and that is it. It will automatically pull through all of your blinds as covers and it works really well. It's nice and quick because it's all local, no cloud, but the only thing missing I would like to see the Soma team add is the light levels inside of Home Assistant since that would be incredibly useful. It does show battery life, so that's nice, but the light levels would be great. A couple of other suggestions here that Soma could improve around is the app. The app is easy to use and well laid out and all the controls you need. But when you have Soma Connect added, I wish that it took over control of interfacing with the blinds rather than it still being Bluetooth on my phone. If Soma Connect was permanently connected to the blinds and then my phone just interfaced with the Connect, that would give it a much quicker and snappier experience. 
As it stands, that's not the way it works and your phone still connects over Bluetooth to the blinds, which can be slower and occasionally it wouldn't be able to connect, even when I was right next to the blinds and I'd have to wait for a few minutes before trying again. So if they can improve that experience, that would be much better. My other suggestion would be that since Soma is clearly embracing the local community with their local API, Home Assistant integration and not requiring you to create an account, I'd love to see them create Soma Connect as a Home Assistant add-on for those people who have Raspberry Pis. That would be really the cherry on the cake for me. Pricing on both these units is currently 103 to 130 pounds, depending on if there is a sale or not. That is a fair bit more expensive than, for example, the Akara unit that we looked at, but both do come with included solar panels for charging, which definitely does narrow the price gap a little bit. And in the case of the Tilt, I haven't yet seen another competitor to this unit. At that price, I know for some of you, it will definitely be a harder sell, but Soma is doing a lot of great things here. These are incredibly easy to install, the motors are more powerful than anything else I've seen. They have included solar panels unlike a lot of other units. It's all completely local, <coughs> to ya. And they have seamless integrations with every smart home platform. Battery life is less than I would like at a claimed 30 days, but with the included solar panel, that hopefully shouldn't be an issue. But what do you guys think about these blinds from Soma? The tilt version in particular was really interesting to me. I haven't seen anything quite like this before and it's a really neat idea that works very well. Both of them in fact work really well and I like what Soma is doing so far. But let me know in the comments down below what you think and as always, if you want to pick one of these up, then the links will be in the description down below also. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to support the channel, then you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to keep on making these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. As always, your support is massively appreciated. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.